to this NFL topic real quickly. As the right. Cardinals release DeAndre Hopkins, I mean, for Javon and I, that's great news. Get him the fuck out the division as he had two years and $34 oh, yeah. million dollars less this. on his. Oh, he sure did. Absolutely. Especially during that 2020 season when we were just yeah, bad. Like 14 and just, catches. <laughs> he just he just wanted to cook us on an every week basis. And so, yeah. Javon, I'll throw it to you first since you are the fan of the NFC West in this uh in this chat so what are your thoughts on this move um so i heard him i heard him go on i am athlete and he was just kind of you know there was a lot of breadcrumbs that we were kind of seeing he was like well what do you look for in the team well you know i look for a quarterback that's got to be dedicated to the game he's a guy that can elevate his teammate but what, what about kyler what's what, he not i got you what about the gm he's like oh shit i don't know about the gm because you know this i don't really know too much about him but you know he's got to be able to build a team up and the, the coach i don't know because he ain't never been a head coach before. So you just – the little breadcrumbs that he was dropping on I'm athlete that you are kind of seeing, you know, the stuff that he looks for in the team. And then, you know, the guys that he was listed, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, you know, those are like top guys in the league. He's like, all right. And then you're kind of looking like, well, how's he going to be able to trade because based on the salary, like how's he going to be able to get over there, or this, that, and the third. And, you know, now he's just cut me in. You know, maybe Hop is probably going to uh, Hopkins, Hopkins might take, you know, he might not get like a, what, 20. He's like, he's a top receiver, I believe, in this league. Um, I think he's a $20 million guy. Um, but I don't think that he's going to play for like a one-year $20 million. He's probably going to play for like a one-year maybe 10. He might get DeAndre Hopkins on a, on a cheaper deal because he's going to try and, you know, get with the contender. Um, it's looking like it's either the Bills or the Chiefs. <laughs> That's kind of what it's looking like, as we've kind of been uh, seeing in reports lately. Um, the Bills don't want the Chiefs to get them. The Chiefs don't want the Bills to get them. So it's kind of just like, all right, who's gonna who's gonna take the crown? Do you want to play with Mahomes? You want to play with Josh Allen? Both teams, you, you know, the Mahomes just did it. Well, play with the baby goat. But, but Mahomes did it. He did it without really a number one receiver, albeit he does have Travis Kelsey. He's technically a receiver, but he's a tight end. He, he kind of just like, all right, you know, McCole Hardman, you know, Kadarius Tony and Juju doing the TikTok dances in the end zone and getting pulled at the end, you know, trolling all the Eagles players in the offseason. Well, well, that's that's another story for another day. But um, I really think DeAndre Hopkins, if I were to bet my money on, I think he goes to the Chiefs. And that's just, you know, um, play Mahomes, <laughs> best player in the league. Um, do you think Gary said it, baby goat. I mean, I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, you could other places he'd be cold to. I would love to see him play with Lamar. Um, Lamar Odell, um, say Flowers, that that tandem would be pretty insane. And he was one of the guys they listed on his list. I don't even think Mahomes was on um, his, was. Li- his, yeah. his, his, oh, he was. I mean, yeah, of can't, course, can't, you can't go wrong. So, Gary, what do you think about Cardinals uh, releasing DeAndre Hopkins, and where might he go? Um, I just wanted to know if you guys Steelers. Call, you were calling. No, he's not. You remember? <laughs> uh, we don't want to, We already have. We draft good wide receivers already. I'm not worried about that one. But I was gonna say, you guys remember that uh, Al Murray, Hail Mary from D D Hop? That was one of the great. Hail plays. Murray, yes. Yes. That's why we lived that great play that DeAndre Hopkins and Cal Murray created real quick. So that's kind of one of the biggest. Uh, I guess bigger, biggest video, whatever, biggest moment I remember from that uh, tandem there. So I wish I could have made it work. I still like Kyler, even though he clearly has a little bit of, a little bit of issue just in growth of being becoming the quarterback or franchise of a quarterback. So I think he's going to get there. He still has a lot of talent. So like uh, Vaughn mentioned, he uh, labeled all those quarterbacks and all the things he should do. Again, I said right here. Thank God the Cardinals released him because he's first team all professional. If everyone, anyone who speaks about D Hop always talks about how he's like all professional, all work, and he's been uh, every time he's on that field. Everyone's he's talking helped. reckless about DeAndre. Yeah, Hopkins. Yeah, field, so saying. I was gonna say that. What'd you say, Vaughn? My bad, I missed you. What'd you I say? said Kevin Nothing. was talking he reckless ties. about DeAndre Hopkins in the group chat. Reckless. Oh, none but and yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I know that he, uh, again, uh, he, maybe his last couple of years hasn't been the best due to his health. But I feel like if he can get his health together, I still feel like he has a good uh, spark plug in him for a good team, a Super Bowl winning team like we mentioned. I think he has his head in the right place. I feel like he should go to either the, the Bills or the uh, Chiefs. And then, then that um, little competitive, uh, that whole, I guess, when to call it, I don't know if they had a rivalry just yet. I mean, I guess. But if you want to call it rivalry, at, whatever you want to call it. At this point, yeah. 
I guess you could say I would say I've been on the Chiefs side, so I'm gonna keep rocking with the Chiefs. I would say go with the baby go. I think that's the best place could help him out. I thought he's gonna, you know, do a lot of great things. So I thought he should go with the Chiefs, but then again, all those quarterbacks you mentioned, you're not gonna go wrong. I actually do, even though it'd be bad for me. I would love to see him and Odell, maybe some like you know, top five of top five quarterbacks of the of the back in the day coming back together and you know making Lamar look great. So that'd be cool to see too. But I feel like for him, it'd be cool to get him a guaranteed ring or really close to a ring. Not guaranteed. There's no guaranteed, but high chances of ring at all the teams he named. I feel like are still the Chiefs, the reigning Super Bowl champs. And man, I think D Hop got uh got some stuff left in him, Kev. I don't feel like you might not agree with that one, but I feel like he got some stuff left in him. Just a spark plug, not a whole great season of prime D Hop wide receiver type level, but you know, just some prime possessions in the playoffs to get you a catch here and there to go big body somebody, just make a play. So I feel like he'd be a great asset to a Super Bowl winning team that your Eagles might want as well. I mean, Kevin, are you going to make it unanimous uh, so far and make it three for three that D Hop should sign with the Chiefs? And what do you think about this move overall? The Cardinals releasing him. So I'm, I'm going to give you some numbers. So DeAndre Hopkins, he missed a lot of the games due to uh, PSD. Uh, no, nah, it was the drug. It was the performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, and then he was hurt. So, too. so yeah, so he missed a lot of yeah, games. We played nine injured. games, yeah. 717 yards, 96 targets, 64 catches, four touchdowns. So let's games. just imagine, yeah, a nine game. Let's imagine that over a 17-game season, he's easily a 1,000-yard receiver, six-some touchdowns, 150 targets maybe. So he can, still, he can still put up the production. And he mentioned yeah. he wants to play with a quarterback like Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Ooh, and Herbert. Patrick Mahomes. He also mentioned he wants a defense. So because of that defense, we have to take the Chargers off. We have to take the, ah, the Chiefs off. We have to take the Bills Chiefs. off. So if we're looking at the best defense out of these teams, it's the Baltimore Ravens. And we're going to put a wide receiver core of Zay Flowers, Odell Beckham, DeAndre Hopkins, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins. The, it goes on and on and on. Lamar There's has no, no other place you would want to play. You know, they're going to let Lamar open and throw it up. He said he wants to throw for 6,000 yards. There's no way for him to get to 6,000 yards without so adding be, a DeAndre Hopkins to this team. So he'd be the number one option on this team, right? 100%. Got you. Yeah. Got you, got you. So I think that's right, the so- best place for him to play. Javon, I mean, you you were kind of alluding to something that we talked about in the group chat there. Can you can you just explain a little bit later, uh, a little bit more for for our listeners? Because you were asking Kevin, would he be the number one on the Ravens? The answer is yes, but Kevin doesn't think he would be the number one on every team. So Kevin was saying um, there was something that uh, he posted that the Eagles have a chance to get DeAndre Hopkins because I guess the Eagles have a chance to get anybody in Batman, the league that's Batman ever. And third Batman. Everybody so, wants to come, bro. Uh, <laughs> and Kevin he listed went, us. Kevin went on to say that if he were to come to Eagles, he would be the fourth option on this team. And I looked <laughs> behind I looked, Dallas was, Goddard. Behind know, Dallas Goddard. I was, I was out, Kevin is out of his gourd <laughs> for even thinking that he's anything less than two. Um, Kevin, I already mentioned the numbers. He had 700 yards in nine games um, and four touchdowns. You said 64 receptions. That's in nine games. Um, he would, you could argue he could be the one With option. Kyler, it would, really feel you like could that. argue on that team he'd probably be the number one option. Um, I still think it would be A.J. Brown just given his physical gifts. He's, always, he's a lot more explosive. But yeah. definitely the number two yeah. option. Like, <laughs> Definitely the number two option. Devontae Smith said, didn't have to sneeze at, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but he's not DeAndre Hopkins. I'll say that. <laughs> but I bet, uh, I bet Kevin was just looking at some stats real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I was, I was just waiting for Sean to point down at me and, and let me know to go. I'm, I'm. And he also, <laughs> said, he also said Dallas Goddard would be ahead of him. So he's like, that, that puts him down at number four, which was. Yeah, awesome. Kevin. I mean, it's. That's disrespectful. So, so I number two behind A.J. Brown. Get that. I Number three behind Devonte Smith. I'm like, I feel like Smith needs to prove it a little bit more, but I can see it. I can see it. Number four behind Dallas Goddard. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> they tell me that. the guy. The well, I mean, this is stats over politics. Go there Kevin just got some Something stats ready for us. So, Kevin, tell us why we're wrong. Stats over politics. So, I mentioned the numbers for DeAndre Hopkins. Could you guys name me another receiver on that team? Who? On the Cardinals. 
uh, Michael <laughs> Pittman. No, Pittman. Was more, more on there? Was more on there this year? It doesn't matter. What I'm getting Ron, at is Rondell Moore. <laughs> there's no one yeah. else to throw to. <laughs> there's no one else to throw oh, no, to. So I'm I'm, I'm happy he's there. putting up these numbers. Oh, wait, Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood's on the team. Zach Ertz. Zach, Zach, Zach Ertz got it. Now we're throwing names out for Now we're throwing names out here. Okay. But, but All right, go ahead. Is, none of those guys point are, are, yeah. are better than DeAndre Hopkins. So he's going to get every target. If Dallas Goddard finishes a 17 game season, you guys understand that he finishes with 1,000 yards. Uh, so that's bro. three 1,000 yard receivers if, between those three weapons that you guys said yeah, he would if, become if, behind. If, so that's three 1,000 yard receivers. And we're going to add DeAndre Hopkins into the mix. A guy that we do not need on our team. So if you want to come over here and play with Jalen Hurts and this good defense, you're not going to come and be the number two option. It just doesn't make sense. We have Devontae Smith, who's a, arguably a top ten receiver. AJ yeah. Brown, arguably top five. You know, yes. a lot of people might a lot of people might think this is crazy, but Dallas Goddard could be a top three tight end. Oh my god, bro. He's so going on TikTok. We, we have the weapons. <laughs> so I just don't yeah. believe that DeAndre yeah, Hopkins sure comes and this time, Ken. becomes yeah. the number one option or the number two option in a Philadelphia Eagles offense. All right. We shall see. I mean, football season is coming up quickly before we know it. Uh, and so, Kevin, I mean, you, I'm sure you heard all of the chirps in between. You were making your great point there. Are you going to put yourself on TikTok for that one about Dallas Goddard being ahead of DeAndre Hopkins in the Eagles offense? Please. please. Of course. And y'all going to be mad because it ain't going to be the Gary response. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just no, numbers, baby. No, no, no. no. Put, numbers up. No, where he needs to clip is saying when he said Dallas Goddard is the top three tight end. That's where he needs to clip. So. That was uh, I mean, I, I, I honestly think about Dallas Goddard. I, I honestly think Dallas Goddard being a top three tight end is oh, less three. crazy than Dallas Goddard being ahead of DeAndre Hopkins in that offense. Even with that context, Kevin, DeAndre Hopkins is that guy, in my opinion. You, people haven't seen it as recently. I think out of respect, Jalen Hurts ever, would be like, I'm giving him more balls than Dallas Goddard. Dallas out of respect? Goddard. What does respect out you do? Respect. I mean, Gary, Gary, field. Yeah, Gary, it's also whoever is open. Oh, Man, you played long that's... enough. Let me go ahead and throw you the ball. Let's let's try to recreate that. Yeah, it's called respect no. level. Yeah, they had that in the league. That's why I think Odell was getting. Yeah, that's why we got AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. Oh God. <laughs>